why should I take that vinegar? So I don't believe that. But, that, but this is very interesting, even in terms of class analysis. Will I believe that all of those men who are engineers in the top position give the money to their wives? I don't think so. Because it's not what you're asserting. But it's not in power, even if you give the money, given your economic situation, not the deterioration, rising costs. Uh, to me, to me, if, if, if anyone would give me money, it's a big reform alarm, it's not a budget. To me, it's not empowering. But there's there's one thing, and sorry, uh, Dr. Desire was, was saying, that a lot of these things are being taken for granted, in a way, no? I, I When I used to teach women's studies, um, we would do a lot of discussions about sexuality. And one of the things that I would ask my NA class masters, you know, in their 1920s, was is lesbianism, sexuality, gayness an issue for you? And all of them would say, no, ma'am. It's not an issue for us. Which is very interesting because for us, in our generation, to even say lesbian is a big issue. So, so but I, I, we need to actually break down that. You know, is it an issue or is it already something where we, some people have softened the ground so that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how to say it well, but parang ganon. But I think when you look around, it is still an issue. The fact that, you know, there are mainly gays and lesbians who are discriminated. Not issue in the sense that you can speak about it and you can, I suppose, choose, no? But, but I think comparative lahat siya, historical dapat ang pagtingin mo. So, yun nga, uh, as then I was saying, maybe some of you should speak up because, you know, I, I think the, the, the young people's... Nasa pa pa na ako tayo. Biglang nagtuturoan. You know, go there, there. I hope he's the right thing. I think that, and this isn't just to respond to Andy, because really the question, what else? What more do you want? Yeah. I can give you a list of 10 right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not personal. I mean, it would be great if my, I teach your lungs. Um, it would be great if none of my students were oppressed by love. If none of them, none of my female students were oppressed by Valentine's. Or female friends. Or female friends. Or oppressed by Valentine's Day as a patriarchal enterprise. And that's something that makes them feel so bad because no one gave them a rose. Ah. And, this whole, and this whole university has all these roses all over this palak in I mean, on a very basic level, I mean, as a, as a girl, it's a very sad thing for me because 10 years ago when I was in college, it was exactly like that as well. And it tells me it hasn't changed. 